if one angle of a triangle is 90 degree then it is a right angle triangle the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse and the sides having right angle are known as perpendicular sides of that triangle the perpendicular sides also known as altitude and base there is a wonderful relation in these three sides in a right angle triangle as you know hypotenuse is the biggest side in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square we can got by adding the square of other two sides let me tell you with an example here this is a right angle triangle with perpendicular sides 3 and 4 cm and hypotenuse 5 cm so here we can see the relation that is if we square the two perpendicular sides what we get 3 square and 4 square and if we add this what we get 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16 so that is equal to 25 25 is same as 5 square that is the square of the hypotenuse that is altitude square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square this is true for all right angle triangle the greek mathematician pythagoras developed this relation and this relationship is known as pythagoras theorem that is in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides here AC is the hypotenuse so by Pythagoras theorem we can write as AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square so if two sides in a right angle triangle is given we can find out the third side using this relation but keep in mind that Pythagoras theorem is applicable only in right angle triangles let's check the Pythagoras theorem here we have a right angle triangle because here it is 90 degree we want to find PR PQ and QR is given so here we can see PR is the hypotenuse since this is opposite to 90 degree so we can write that relation that is PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square so this is equal to what is PQ square PQ is 9 so 9 square plus and QR is 12 12 square so this is equal to what is 9 square 9 square is 81 plus 12 square is 144 then adding we get 225 so we got PR square is equal to 225 so PR is equal to how can you find out the square of any number is given how can you find that number that is here decide so side PR is equal to square root of 225 so if you find we know how to find out square root using factorization method we can do or we know 225 is the square of 15 so square root of 225 is 15 hence we are equal to 15 centimeter which is the hypotenuse okay here we can see this is a right angle triangle and 90 degree is here so xy is the hypotenuse so how can we find out the side xz so if perpendicular sides we want to find out we need to subtract from the hypotenuse that is we can rewrite the relation like this 
x z square is equal to so we know x y is the largest side so x y square minus y z square if hypotenuse and one other side is given and if you want to find out the third side we can write the relation like this x z square is equal to x y square minus y z square then we can substitute that is 25 square minus 20 square so this is equal to 25 square is 625 minus 20 square is 400 this is equal to subtracting we get 225 then x z is equal to x z square and 225 so here x z is equal to how can we write square root of 225 and what is square root of 225 it is 15 15 centimeter okay okay then converse of Pythagoras theorem in a triangle if the square of its largest side is equal to the sum of the squares on the remaining two sides, the given triangle is a right angle triangle. So, Pythagoras theorem and the right angle triangle is hypotenuse in the square and the other two sides in the squares in the sum. Here, if three sides are given, Okay, three sides are there. And then the largest side in the square. The remaining two sides in the squares are added. That is not equal angle. That triangle is a right angle triangle. Okay. Here, three sides are given. We want to find whether they are the sides of a right angle triangle. So, what we can do? We can take the largest number though which is that 10 so what is the square of that number 10 square is equal to 100 now we want to check what is the square of the other two numbers and its sum so 6 square plus 8 square is equal to 36 plus 64 that is equal to 100 so that is same as the square of the largest number Hence, we can say that the given three sides are the sides of a right angle triangle. Hope you found the class useful. If you like the class, please share to the needed ones. Thank you.